Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, thank you for clicking onto this video. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I've just been really busy. Um, I, I just thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, I think from the title, you know, it's it's these um, some not everyone, a lot of African Americans are are doing great things in Africa, enjoying their life, and you know, uh, just n enjoying being in Africa. Yes, yeah, I'm uh, going back and forth. Like, you know, JT, the bigger figure, he's, he's in Kenya, goes back to America, he's in Kenya again, like it should be. You know, being a Pan-Africanist does not mean you move from America to go and live in Africa. That's not Pan-Africanism. Even Marcus Garvey was not trying to get people to move to Africa. What Marcus Garvey was trying to do is to connect people to Africa. That's it. That's the whole point of Pan-Africanism. You connect. You can connect economically. You can connect physically, literally. You can go have a house in Africa and have a house in America, and that's okay. You know, you can do business, whatever, in America, you can do business in Africa. That's the whole point of Pan-Africanism, is interconnecting in that way. It's not necessarily about, oh, you got to pack up your bags and move to Africa. Now, well, that's why the title. I'm just I'm just laughing at some of these African Americans that when they visit countries in Africa, they get so offended that they when they go they become idols. You know, who are like uh, 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 idols, like um, uh, descendants of like you know the Americans, African Americans, pretty much. And and I mean this as African Americans who have. Uh, 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 descendants who were like you know, um, or, or their ancestors who were like uh, like uh, like slaves. Okay, now, so some people go to Africa, things happen that they didn't expect. You know, they you know they go to Africa with this expectation of people gonna roll up a red carpet for them, and everyone is gonna know about this Pan Africanism thing, and everyone. We we'll just call them brother. Welcome back to your motherland. We love you, and give them kisses and, and and all that. That's why they anticipate some of these guys. And then when they go there, and they don't get that, they go back and be actually become anti-Africans. You know, uh, start talking crap about Africans, and 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 some even announce this called diaspora wars. It's, it's ridiculous. There's poor wars. Who gives a crap? No one is going to war with anybody. You are broke. He's broke. No time for that. Go out. Make some money. There's no wars going on. Stop, make, stop talking. Stop wasting your time making up stuff that doesn't even make sense. There's poor wars. Come on. Africans got more problems in their own countries than... um than worrying about these diaspora wars on YouTube. You know, stop it. Just stop it. That's dumb. It's dumb and it needs to stop. You know, when you don't, when you go there and things are not happening the way you expected them, there's a reason for that. Okay? Here's the thing. First of all, most Africans, you know, are busy trying to make a living. The Africans don't have the same way. You are you are living in a land where, where you feel like you don't belong. You are a minority. Okay? Africans are living in a land where the majority and they own the land. You know, they can go back generations and generations. They own that land. Okay? So, over time, Africans don't go to school and learn about American history. They learn about slavery. Just a superficial level. For someone like me, it had to be, because I'm inquisitive, I had to force myself to learn and find out more. You know? And most Africans don't even know the problems that people have in America because they don't have access to the news. You know, it's just these days that people are seeing when people are getting shot and, and all that stuff, that people are becoming aware of how America, black Americans live in America, you know, because you have to realize you guys don't control the narrative of America. You don't, you know, that's just the truth. I know you can say, you know, 
rap music can teach some of us who've been listening to rap for a long time kind of know what was going on there. But at the end of the day, you are the minority. Minority means you're not important. That's basically what it means. <laughs> when you are a minority in, in any country, it means you are not important. You have to beg to get what the majority, what the scraps the majority can give you. That's basically what it means. Minority means unimportant. Just remember that. Okay? So, for those guys... Who are doing they go to africa and they don't get the red carpet and then they go back and become anti-africa you are doing it out of ignorance you know you are the same people that when you go there you fail to connect with people because you're not genuine i've heard so many people that go to africa and just struggle because they were expecting lessons but also i've heard so many people that go to africa and they just love it and a lot of people have stayed a lot of people have stayed in the last 10, 5, 10 years. They've stayed in Africa. They've moved from America and stayed in Africa. Others are in the process of actually moving to Africa. They've, they've been visiting those people who are smart, doing their research, finding out what, how they can survive and all those things. They're not moving just based on emotions. All right? But the difference between the two groups, the one that go back and do the and become idols and then become anti African, and the ones that are actually enjoying Africa, it's it's the genuineness. You know, the whole point is not to go there to help people. You know, Africans are fine. You know, but but that's the mentality some of you guys have because that's that's what you get fed on the news all the time from America. You know. Africans are starving, and this one, I hear some people, oh, look at this one, are starving. The guy's never been to Africa. In Africa, dude, you, you have to buy land. Every land, you have to buy it. Most Africans don't have to buy land. It's just, they just go, you got, you want to grow something, there's the place, you start growing. You know, you go to the village, people just, people are fine. They're not starving at all. You know, mango season comes, it's free mangoes, you know. This fruit comes up, the next fruit, and the next, it's all free. You don't have to go to the shopping mall to buy that stuff. It's free. You can go to your neighbors and get some avocado. If you run out at uh, the trees, uh, 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 it's, it's all done where you are, at your house. You know, that's the sort of lifestyle you guys don't know about. You know, you don't have to go and buy Molinga. You know, you, know, you just go in your backyard and get some leaves, nice and fresh. You're not paying for that. You know, not every African is trying to be materialistic. You know, some people just don't give a crap about that sort of lifestyle. You know, so, but you think they're starving. No, they're not. If anything, four out of Americans are starving. And that is real because over there, the economy is capitalistic economy. You need money all the time. You know, it's very different from Africa. Okay. But here's the thing though, so when you don't receive or things don't go the way you expected and then you go back and become anti-African and start now talking crap about Africans, that's just, that's nonsense and it has to stop. First of all, the Africans are not asking for your help, okay, they are not saying come and help us out, nah, that's not what we're saying. The people are moving to Africa are actually benefiting a lot more. Like if you look at um, uh, one of the the, the, the couple that are African American couple that are uh, that are I like and I watch called the Real South African. Um, check them out. They have a YouTube channel called the Real South Africa. They studied. They visited South Africa. I think 18 times before they moved there, and they've moved there and they call the place home. And if you look at their attitude, it's just very different. They're promoting South Africa more than South Africans themselves do. But that, they are not trying to help South Africans. You know, but what they've gone there, they've created employment for South Africans. But at the same time, they're also making money off that because they've seen an opportunity. And that's what Africa gives you. Africa gives you opportunities. Okay? If you have a little bit of money, here's an opportunity. And you're going to create some sort of lifestyle. Where you can say, you know what? If I'm making a thousand dollars a month, I'll be fine. But I'm gonna have a lifestyle. I can have people work for me. I can do this. I can do that, and I'll be fine. 
Same thing with a lot of people that are opening up restaurants in Rwanda, in, uh, in Tanzania. They're not there to help people. They're also finding a way of a better lifestyle instead of just work, 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 work until you die. You know, that's what Africa is offering them to actually start living. You can't blame them for that. This is why I don't understand. And then you guys start talking about diaspora wars. Come on, there's no diaspora wars. We love each other. We do. It's just because now you've gone to Africa and now you hate Africans. You know, because someone someone made you pay uh, a lot, paid two dollars more. Dude, I was in Tanzania. That happened to me too. I had to pay a taxi because I didn't know the exchange rate. And I find out it ripped me off two dollars. But what's two dollars? But it's not just in Africa. I was in, um, I, I visited so many places. In France, actually, someone ripped me off. You know, because I, I didn't care so much about the uh, the exchange. When I was in Bali, someone ripped me off. Okay, the taxi driver ripped me off. But I'm not going to go there and hate them for that. You know, I'm, I, I, you know I was in Tanzania. I didn't go there. Oh, the Tanzanians are these. Because I understand what they do. They're just hustling. You know, it sucks. But at the same time, it's just not happening in Africa. It happens globally. It happens everywhere you're going to go. When people realize you're not from there, they're going to try to charge you extra. And the reality is, I'll pay $100 from my house to get to the airport. So if I'm in Tanzania and I pay $20 when I'm supposed to pay $18 to get to my, to my house, I'm not going to complain. You know, it's bad that he has to do it, but I can understand where that's coming from. So that's not a big deal. You know, so all these guys that you go there and then you start... We, both sides, we have real problems. Africans have their own problems. Nothing is perfect in Africa, but believe me, the lifestyle is a lot better. People can say whatever they want to say. You know, the truth is, and Africa is on the path to get better. I tell you what, in 1940s, Hitler gathered names of the richest people at that time in Germany. Okay? Today, 90% of that list are still the richest people in Germany, except for the little, for the little uh, kids that are in take that have done something and made a bit of money. But majority of the rich people who are richer then, those families are still rich now. Then why am I saying this? Africa and Africa is just starting to blossom. If you go, there's a lot of countries there that are doing 10% growth. Even in this pandemic, I think Zambia grew 3. Point something percent. You know, Ghana also grew. So, but without the pandemic, these countries would be doing 10, 15%. Rwanda was doing 12% in, in 2019. You know, why am I saying this? It's at the foundation. So you go in now, you build your real estate when the houses are costing 50K. In about 10 years time, you find those houses costing half a million dollars. You know, that's a 10X. You've just made money. And that money is going to be with you. You can pass that to the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. In other countries that are already developed, the housing market is not going to move at that pace, the way it's moving in Africa. The housing market might move 2%, 2%, and then it drops. It drops another 4%. And then you start again. You know, you know. But in Africa, it's just going to keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. You know, they need more houses there to be built than anywhere else in the world. Okay, so what that's an opportunity Africa is creating, but when you know, we're not trying, <laughs> I don't get it. So, that's that's the opportunity, that's that's what Africans are busy doing. So, if you go there now and try to say, you know, the Africans are doing this, the Africa, you got your own problems in America, guys. You're talking about the wrong thing. This is what I don't understand with black people. We like to quarrel among each other and draw a red carpet to other races, you know, your country. Just spent trillions of dollars in Afghanistan. Left hundreds of billions of dollars of weaponry in Afghanistan. <laughs> and you got nothing to say about that. You guys are look, waiting for reparations, which I think you should get. You deserve that. But come on, you're going to spend your time talking about Africans? When the people you should be talking about who are spending these trillions of dollars are not building schools for your kids? 
you know, not even providing some sort of a, a free education for everyone. Right now, you guys, your kids, if you don't prepare now, you'll be up here in student loans. Whereas in Africa, most countries now are going free education. And the education is getting better and better and better as the countries grow. So let's stop this of creating these wars that don't exist. It's dumb. It's the dumbest thing ever. We have our problems. Focus on your problems in America. Africans, focus on your problems. There's no diaspora rule. We are actually more linked than ever before right now. And if you're going to be on that diaspora war crap, you're going to be left behind and broke. Left behind, broke and broken. You know, we're moving forward and linking up and creating. In the future, we're going to be creating multinational companies. It would be Africans and African-Americans coming together and putting up um, uh, companies on the stock market. That is coming. That is coming. You keep being all this diaspora. Well, there's no wars, brother. There's no wars, sister. We love you and we want, we love each other, most of us. You know, and we want to see black people succeed anywhere and everywhere in the world. Eidos, get your reparations. Fight for that. You deserve it. Africans, fight in your countries. Change things like what happened in Zambia. Voted out a corrupt guy putting in a, a good president. And right now, everything is great. He's just announced free education. He's announced CDF, which is Community Development Fund. He had almost 10x, uh, 20 x you know, where they used to receive uh, uh, like $100,000. They'll now be receiving about $2 million in all these little communities to start. And $2 million in Africa will go a long way, you know. And, and this is this year. Next year, it could be $4 million the year after. And you're going to see development happening in these communities. You can see the kind of presidents that we are getting now in Africa. It's progress. Nana Akufo Addo in Ghana doing amazing things. Magufuli, rest in peace, was doing amazing, amazing, amazing things. You know, HH in Zambia doing amazing things. Uh, Malawi, Chikwera doing amazing things. You know, Botswana, Namibia, all these, all these countries, they are, they have now really good leaders, and they're doing amazing things. Zimbabwe, hopefully, they get rid of the the leader who's there and putting a, a leader with sense, so that that country can go back to being uh, 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 the bread basket of of the continent without. The other race, you know who. Just Africans owning farms and doing amazing things. You know. African Americans. Eidos. You know. We support what you do. Let's stop this stupidity of diaspora wars. No one is warring with anybody. We just want to see you succeed. And Africans want to see Africans succeed. That's it. That's it. Don't, don't go with the 1% who are weirdos <laughs> trying to say, there's poor war, bring the smoke and all that stuff. Weirdo. Don't go with that group. You know, look at the opportunities. Be a global citizen. It's beneficial, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And Africans in America, hustle. It doesn't matter what you do. Whatever you're doing, just keep hustling. You know, and sometimes you got to sacrifice. I know some of you guys will leave your families in Africa. And go to America, go to outside outside Africa to make some money. Hustle, do it. But at the end of the day, let's not forget where we come from. All right? There's no diaspora rules. All these idols is just pure stupidity. That's dumb. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Just wanted to rant a little bit. Thank you. And uh, um, keep watching my videos. We'll, we'll be posting some more. Thank you. Goodbye.